Hi, we are Team 17. Our project is Autoponics, an automated greenhouse. The objective of our project was to streamline and automate the gardening process so that individuals who would potentially be unable to successfully grow plants could have the opportunity to participate in gardening culture. We were able to achieve this by using temperature sensors, water sensors, and computer vision to automate the process, all while letting users get online updates. This is our team's greenhouse, or enclosure, we made for our project. The plastic layering you see on the outside is to prevent wind and outside weather from letting the warm air and humidity escape from the enclosure, while also letting sunlight inside and protecting the plants. This process helps extend the growing season for plants that need warmer temperatures to allow for year-round growing. We used a linen cart and were able to design and alter it to act as a base for our enclosure. Here, you can see the inside of our enclosure where we have planted holy basil, arugula, and cilantro. We use the wicking system as it is easier to maintain than other systems that were available. For the wicking system, you need to have a base layer of rocks for structural support to hold the soil above water, which we use scoria. Next, we use the membrane layer to separate the soil and scoria. And finally, we have the soil on top of the membrane where we have planted our plants. The wicking system is easier to maintain because you don't have to do frequent watering as water slowly evaporates into the soil, keeping it moist. Here is the system we designed to fill our water reservoir from. It is PVC pipes in a U-shape on the inside bottom of the enclosure with holes drilled on the bottom to allow for equal dispersion of water. We're able to attach a hose to it and fill it from the outside to get water to the bottom of the enclosure. Here we have a power strip mounted on the outside of the enclosure. It is used to power our Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, which is connected to various sensors, the enclosure camera, ventilation fans, and lights. Through a Python script on the Pi connected to transistors, it can trigger a relay to toggle lights and fans on and off. The lighting system is a red-blue LED strip light that photosynthesizes the plants for indoor growing options. Upon booting up, the Pi runs a Python script that first checks if there is an internet connection established. If there is not, then the Pi enables Bluetooth and awaits a connection. The user can then connect to the Pi with their smartphone, and they will then be prompted to provide the Pi with Wi-Fi credentials. The Pi will then connect to the internet and establish a connection to our project server. The user can now log into their account on the server, and the Pi will authenticate the user's credentials. After it has established a connection, it will monitor the enclosure. The enclosure will also constantly read from the sensors and store the information on a database on the user's account on the server. This is a DHT11 sensor, which we read temperature and humidity data from. The enclosure will periodically capture an image from the Logitech C920 Pro HD webcam, and then it transfers it over to the server, which it will display on the front end and be used for our computer vision program. And that's all we have for the hardware. Now we'll get into the front end. If you take a look at the URL, you can see that it's running on our server at autoponics.xyz slash app. With the login page, we wanted something simple, easy for the user to access, just so they can be able to log in. We've also created a sign up page, which will prompt the user for their username, email, first name, last name, and password to be able to create an account. If we go back to sign in, we'll use one of our test users Elvis Freshly's account to be able to log in. He won't mind. Once logging in, the user will then be greeted with a dashboard and it will contain how many enclosures the user owns, quick status updates like temperature and humidity, and then what plants are in each enclosure. As you can see for this first enclosure, we see that it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit right now and around 10% humidity. The plants contained here are holy basil, cilantro, arugula. For our navigation, we decided to go with something really simple. We really love Material UI, so we went with simple navigation. We have our home page, our enclosures page, our statistics page, our camera page, and our database page. If you see at the top right at our app bar, it will contain notifications and all the user's profile and account information and our sign out button. When you click into details for the enclosure, It'll bring up a bigger picture of the enclosure and then current temperature and humidity readings for that enclosure. Now if we go back to our statistics page, here's where we have something really cool. 
we start tracking all of the temperatures and the current humidity just so we can see if there's any variance within the temperatures or variance within the humidities so then our program will be able to detect something needs to change right if the temperature drops we'll increase the fans to increase circulation if the humidity drops we'll figure out to add more water or you know to maintain the plants growing perfectly now if we go to our database page you can see here is where we have our optimal growing conditions right now we only have three plants our arugula cilantro holy basil but this will be a database containing all of the optimal growing conditions for every plant we plan to use in our project here will contain information like plant dimensions variety information of the plants the attributes of the plants how many days it's going to take for the plant to emerge and then how deep the user will have to plant the seeds and the spacing of those seeds along with row spacing and any thinning information. This will be drastically growing and scaling with our project, but for now we have three plans. Overall, that was a run through our front end, and it should be good. Thank you.